Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL series with Learn at NoStar. This is going to be an interesting series because in this series we are going to write SQL queries to explore some scenarios around the employee salary database. So we are going to be posting videos throughout this week uh, covering different scenarios. Some of them I have listed down here. So today's scenario is going to be to find the employees with the highest salary in the department. The other scenarios that we are going to cover throughout this week would be uh, to find employees having greater than average salary of the department, to find employees having more than the average salary of the department but less than the overall average, employees having less than average salary of the department but greater than the average salary of any other department, employees with salary greater than their manager's salary and to find the incremented salary for employees who have completed two years with the organization. So these are going to be separate videos um, so that it is easier for you to navigate when you're searching for a specific SQL query. So for all the scenarios, we are going to be working with the employee data. So I've got this table called employee and these are some of the columns in the employee table. And you can take a look at the data over here. So we have employee key, which is something like the employee ID. Then we have the first name, the last name of the employee, the department to which the employee belongs and the salary for that employee. Now, our task for today is to find the employee with the highest salary in the department. So, let's get started. So, the very first step for us would be to find the highest salary. So, highest salary is nothing but maximum salary in the department. So, we already should be aware that there is a function, that there is an aggregate function called max that can be used to find the maximum salary. So, let's just find the maximum salary as the first step within each department. So, it would be a simple query, select department name department name and then use the function max of salary as max salary from ebo dot employee and then since we are using an aggregate function we have to use a group by clause so group by would be on department name because we want to find the salary, maximum salary for each department. So now if I simply go and execute this query, we would be getting the maximum salary related to each department. Now our task was to find the employee who has got the maximum salary. Now we cannot simply add the employee details or the columns like the first name, last name over here to get the employee details because whatever columns are uh, should be there in the select statement have to be a part of the group by because we are applying an aggregate function over here so what we need to do in that case is so there are different ways to go about it the very first way is to perform a join on the same table so it is kind of a self join now in the first statement select statement i am simply going to fetch all the employee related information from my employee table so I'm just going to fetch all the information over here and then I'm going to make an inner join basically on the same table but I'm going to filter that table using the statement that we wrote above so we only need the department name and maximum salary from that table now so I'm going to put that within the bracket and name this as let's say max uh, cell employee all right now, since I have put an inner join, I need to define my conditions on which I am making the join. So, my first column that I am going to join on is going to be my department name. So, now you have to give an alias over here as well so that we can reference the table separately and individually. So, employee dot and I have to make a join on the department name. So, department name is equal to max cell employee dot department name and my second join is going to be employee dot salary is equal to max employee cell or the other way around max cell employee dot max salary so i'm basically now filtering out the employees whose salary is equal to the maximum salary that was computed by this query over here and then i'm also making a match on the department name so that i'm getting the correct employee details now if we run this query we would be able to fetch all the results correctly 
So ambiguous column department name because we are selecting department name from the first table as well as the second table. So let's just qualify it with the alias name. So let's select it from employee department name and all the other columns are unique. So we can just execute this over here and we would be able to see the employee details for the employee who has the highest salary in that department. Now this is one way of achieving this objective. There's another way in which we can write the same query. Now sometimes what we want to do is to basically avoid these self joins that are happening over here. So what we are doing in this query that we've already written is that we are performing a join for, uh, between the employee table and the max cell employee table, which is again a derivation from the employee table. So sometimes if the data is too huge, the volume is too high, we might have an intention to avoid these self joins for the sake of improve, improving the performance. So the other way to do that is to make use of the SQL analytic functions. Now, whenever we say analytic functions, they basically mean uh, the functions which use the over clause. So you can do the partitioning and ordering and, and I either uh, perform a rank or a row number or any other analytic operations. So what we're going to do here now is write a query using the analytic functions. Now, when we are using the analytic functions, the advantage is that we avoid the self joins and then we can have all the query. Uh, we can fetch the details as well as the aggregated information in the same query. So now in this case, what we're going to do is we are going to fetch all this information that we wanted from the employee table, which is the employee related information. So we are going to fetch all this information. All right. And then we are going to add something over here, which is going to be a rank function. So now we are going to find a rank. And whenever we are using an analytic function, you have to make use of the over clause. Then we have to put bracket. Then we have to define a partitioning uh, column. So we are going to partition by department name because we want to find out the maximum salary within each department. Now the next step that we're going to do is an order by and what we are going to do here is we are going to order by the salary of each employee in a descending manner. So what this is going to do is basically going to generate a rank uh, for each department by ordering the salaries of the employees in a descending manner, which means that the employee with the, uh, with the greatest salary in that department would be ranked as one Employee with the second highest salary would be ranked as two. Employee with the lowest salary would be ranked at the bottom. Now, once I have created this query, okay, let's just run this query and see what is the output from this query. Okay, so we have to remove this reference because we're not using that alias now. And if we just execute this query, so you can see that these are the four employees, the first four records are the first four employees within the engineering department and they have been ranked as per their salary and the salary has been ordered in a descending manner. So the employee with the, uh, with the highest salary who is going to be Terry Duffy has been ranked as one, the other one has been ranked as two and so on and this happens for each department. So what we want now out of this result that we have got, we only want the record which has a rank of one because we are only interested in employees who have the highest salary in their department. So now what we need to do is we need to write a query on top of this and we can select all the columns from this, select star from, make this as a sub query and give it a name as M and then we have to put a filter on the rank that we just generated. So this is going to be the max cell column and put it the value of one. So now we are filtering only those employees who have been ranked as one <clears throat> on the basis of their salaries. So now if we execute this query, we would get only the employees whose salary is the highest. So you can, instead of putting a star here, we can only select uh, these many columns which are employee related and not the generated column for rank that only would make sense in the output. 
So we can remove that derivated column and we can still get the output in the same manner. So these are two ways in which you can go about and find out the maximum salary for the employee in a department. The advantage of having this second method is that you can avoid self joins with the same table. So they might uh, help you in increasing the performance of your SQL query. So this was the scenario for today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more scenarios coming each day of this week. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe. Goodbye.